What's up guys, it's Media Boy Bruni, Fritz Rolly, 732, or I should say, hello my fellow night ponies, it is I, Harmonite, coming to you now in the flesh. Regardless of who I am or what you want to refer to me to, y'all might be wondering, where the hell have you been, man? It's been so long since you made a video. Like, the last video that made was like a couple months ago. Where have you been? Well, so you answer your guys' questions, it all started after spring break was over with the folks from Florida. After coming back from spring break, I entered college with such a huge and busy schedule. I was so busy that I didn't really have time to make content on YouTube. I had time to watch it, I just didn't have time to make it because I was just so burned out and stuff and just didn't feel the need, so I do apologize for that. But things are about to change. But before I get into that, let me tell you all what has been going on. For starters, Club Golf. I have been competing at every single regional event this spring season, and actually ended up getting an all-team tournament medalist prize during the process of one of those events, and qualified for nationals at Arkansas and traveled with the rest of the High Point University team, and we ended up getting top 10, so it was a fun time. But academics was a real pain in the ass. And also, there were even other activities that was busy with, whether it was in regards to intramural softball, pride club, or film society. It was just pretty hectic. But nonetheless, it wasn't just school stuff that I was dealing with. It was also the fact that I was working with other content creators on YouTube. For starters, Sophia May. Although this took place during spring break, I actually managed to work with her for a voice gig on one of her fanfic reading projects, which is set to come out during Month of Macarver, and that is for the fanfic Key Mark Murder Mystery. So I managed to do that over spring break, and I'm excited to see how that turns out. And as well as her project, I am also been working with a Grim Narrator. Now, I already did one voice role project for him. However, there is also another project that I actually managed to get another role for, and I have yet to get started on that one, so I need to get to work on that one. And Grim, if you're watching this, I do apologize. School stuff has been going on, and I promise to get it to you by the end of probably the next couple weeks, maybe the end of the month of May. So I do apologize, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways, aside from him and aside from Sophia, there's also another project that I actually just received the news probably, I think, a month ago. And it was to this big project. I don't know if you guys know it. It's called Friendship is Tragic 2, and it's made by, I don't know, a fantastic legendary audio drama reader from the Brony fandom named Obab Scribbler. That is right, you guys. I'm super excited to tell you that I actually, for the very first time, got a voice role gig for Obab Scribbler, and it is to none other than Friendship is Tragic 2. Now, aside from that, the reason why I'm super excited is because for the very first time, I'm actually legit working with Obap Scribbler. I've never done that before. Sure, I've done a couple collaborations with her, such as the You'll Be Found music video, and even had managed to get a few of my videos added onto her Mother Macabre playlist, but that is way different than actually voice working with her. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to record my lines and do the voice of Pitcher, which by the way, that's the only thing that I'm allowed to mention as of now that the character that I'm playing is Pitcher, and that my understudy happens to be one of my favorite members of the Analysis Anarchy, and somebody who has got me into the Disney series Amphibia, and that is none other than Finn the Pony. Oh my gosh. So yeah, a lot is happening during this project, and regardless of the fact that it's just a small role, but you know what? But at the same time, this is Zobab Scribble, y'all. Like, seriously, this is Zobab Scribble, so no role is, like, too... No, it's considered small when it's Zobab Scribble, so yeah. I'm fine. Anyways, so yeah, I'm super excited, and Scribbler, if you're watching this, all I gotta say is, after checking out the image of my character and reading the description of him, you found a perfect match, and I will do my best to execute this performance. So, as of right now, with college almost coming to an end, and with all this work that I'm doing for all these content creators, 
You guys might be wondering, what is the future for this channel? Well, I am happy to announce that I do have plans to make my own content for this channel later on this summer. We are getting back to reactions, we are getting back to reviews, however, it will come with a twist. Starting from this very update video that you are watching you guys, this will be the new format of how these reactions and review videos will be laid out. Which means Harmonite will have an even bigger role than ever before. You get to see him and his facial expressions along with my commentary as I'm doing reactions and reviews and it will be just like watching a cartoon of him and I'm super excited. Like seriously, I've always wanted to do this. I've been a fan of Brony reactors such as Blank Check and Epic V with their reactions whenever they do their animatic commentary styles. And for me to now be a part of this clique of Brony reactors, I'm super excited. Of course, it is gonna come with a lot of working time. However, when these videos get posted, it will all be worth it. So stick around for that. And I hope you guys enjoy all those vids. Now, speaking of pony stuff, there's one last thing before I head out. For the first time in three years, I am making a return to the Brony convention scene. On May 13th to the 15th at Ocean City, Maryland in the Grand Hotel, I will be attending to the first ever Sequestra Fest which will feature musicians such as Pony One Kenobi, Luckrock, Koa, Caliber, Evershade, Blue Intellect, AWOL, and of course my personal friend from mine from the Blackcom server, Achieve Hunter One. Along with the musicians that are performing at Sequester Fest, we even have a few community guests that are attending, such as Fiora the Tank Girl, Forward Progress, Nova Rosa, and last but not least, notable brony artist, Baja Griffin. And finally, to wrap up the list of notable people that will be attending Sequester Fest, we have our one and only special guest. The star of Sequester Fest is none other than every brony's favorite aunt, the voice of Miss Maine from Friendship is Magic herself, Ellie Ray. I cannot tell you how long I've waited for this, you guys. Sequester Fest is going to be so much fun regardless of how it turns out. I know this convention has had pretty much of a bad rep as my friends mentioned, but I don't care as long as if I get the chance to reunite with a few of my friends and getting the chance to make some new friends and meet some new creative and awesome and talented people in the process and also getting the chance to meet Ellie Ray for the first time like seriously as I mentioned before she has become Brony's favorite aunt and she has been so much fun around Brony conventions and I cannot wait to meet her and meet all these amazing talents that are attending Sequester Fest and I cannot wait to I just cannot wait to have a fun time. It's just going to be so much fun. It's going to be a fun, magical weekend, and I can hardly wait. It's going to be the first time in three years in the making, and uh, I'm super excited. But anyways, if you guys plan on attending Sequester Fest, make sure you stay healthy, stay hydrated, get vaccinated, and if you can't get vaccinated, remember to keep being negative. Of COVID, of course. Of COVID. I mean, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like positive people, but I mean, positive personality, not positive COVID. Oh, well. Anyways, stick around for more content from my channel, and I hope to see you all at Sequestra Fest.